What's going on you guys? This is a Max KD. I have another compact Presario model SR5250 NX. Upgrading the memory, video card, and the hard drive and the power supply. So remove the car side cover panel. There's gonna be a little thumb screw you unscrew that. And we're gonna start off at the right here the hard drive. You can use a flathead screwdriver or you can use a Torx screwdriver T15 right here. And disconnect the secure lock, there will be secure lock right here, press it down with the screwdriver, remove that. Disconnect the set and power. And we're going to go ahead and remove the four screws, two screws on each side. And I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade the hard drive to 500 gig. Uh, 500 gig hard drive. And you're gonna install the screws back. This one right here, another one, this, we install the screw here, the total two screws on each side, one right here, and then the other side. Really easy. Can we connect the hard, the SATA cable, power. Uh, we're not going to connect the SATA cable because we're going to upgrade the power supply, so leave that alone. Now, I'm going to upgrade the memory. A DDR2667. Nine ACC on buffer, and I'm gonna upgrade one gig per each uh, slot. And if you guys test it with four gig, two gig per each slot, let me know. Leave your comments below, because I'm doing uh, upgrading the memory to one gig per each slot, so total two gigs. But if it does support more than two gigs, just let me know. Leave your comments below. And so now I'm gonna upgrade the power supply. Disconnect the SATA cable, the power 24 pin and the four pin and there will be four screws in the back with the user Phillips screwdriver to remove that or and there will be secure lock right here on the bottom right here where the power supply is the secure lock you gotta press it down with the screwdriver to release the lock Let me get the other power supply. I'm upgrading to 400 watt. Cooler Master 400 watt power supply ATX. Gonna install. And it's actually not this side, it's the other side. The fan's gonna be facing that way up. Now, we reconnect the 24 pin and the 4 pin. And we connect the SATA to the hard drive. And connect the city and the city cable and the and we install the optical the cage hard drive cage here really easy you're gonna hear a click right when you install it properly now we would connect the optical drive 
that's the last part and we're going to upgrade the video card through we're going to install right here the PCI Express X16 slot right here the black slot right there the top one There will be a secure bracket right here in the little out uh, right here the side. There's a secure bracket you gotta use a screwdriver to get removed either flathead or Phillips whatever screw you have right there. Is a secure lock for the holds the uh, PCI brackets right here, and we're gonna install the video card here PCI Express X16 slot right here the top one, and remove the PCI bracket right here. Now we connect the secure bracket right here. And you're gonna reinstall back the four screws right here for the power supply. And uh, I'll do wire management later. You can use the wire ties. Get the wires to get it tight. Now, we're going to reconnect the hard drive, that's the last part. And... Okay, so we can re-upgrade the hard drive, memory. Video card and a power supply. And you guys, uh, this be the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.